I'm working in the hospital of Hasselt. They call it Yeso Hospitals. It's an 1100 bed hospital and we are serving a 14 cardiology group uh, with five electrophysiologists. So this EP service is quite nice developed. Next is a 66 year old, very active uh, cyclist. And he started having arrhythmias in 2006. Uh, he already had an ablation for a different arrhythmia, a supraventricular reentrant rhythm. And he did well for a few years. And now he developed atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. And it's really increasing. In the last year, he had it uh, on a, first of all on a monthly base and then on a weekly base uh, with long episodes. And it's really ruining his life. He experienced uh, very often palpitations, very fast heartbeat, and uh, of course it hinders him in his uh, daily activity and in his cycling. Okay, we will make the rotation, of course, the other way around. Can we have apnea? Can we have pacing? Injection? One, two, three, and rotation. Okay, stop pacing. You can, patient can breathe. We know how many veins there are, and we can uh, measure the veins uh, one by one. And it really helps because uh, we decide what lasso to use and uh, how wide we go around the veins. So uh, it's a helpful tool. We started off with uh, EP Navigator 4 and now we have EP Navigator 5 and uh, I think it's a tremendous uh, improvement, uh, not only the layout and the interface for the nurses, which is quite important to be able to work fluently. Well, the reason the integration is very important is that CARTO delivers the 3D uh, electromagnetic uh, mapping with the signals and that Philips delivers the real anatomy. And you should be able to merge the two. First of all, I think you really should be able to see the esophageal tract and to measure the temperature to make sure that you are not uh, heating up the uh, esophageal tract and uh, creating ulcera. And secondly, it really helps us to align the left atrium with the electromagnetic uh, mapping. Because the uh, esophagus is sitting right in the posterior wall of the left atrium. In 50% of the cases on the left side, in 50% uh, of the cases in the middle or more leaning to the right veins, but still very centered. And this is a very nice and accurate way to center the rotational angle. Uh, the two lassos, the, there are two purposes. First of all, I don't want to manipulate the catheters too much. You put them in the veins and you isolate both veins and that's it. And then you move to the other side. The second thing is the potentials. You really see the potentials moving out in the two veins because they, they interplay, they, they have connections and you see the movement of the potentials. And there's no doubt whether a tiny potential that is left afterwards, whether it's PV or not. And the way we tried to do it uh, earlier is that, is that we took a CT or an MRI a few days before. But now we see the real advantage of the real-time anatomy. We see a tremendous uh, reduction in dose, even uh, times 10. And we see it on a daily basis because we have two EP labs and one with uh, clarity and one without and we see the difference for the same procedures.
The awareness itself has changed, uh, both by the nurses and the staff and by the EP physicians. So we use those who wear uh, on a real-time base so that we can see what we are doing and uh, it reminds us to uh, step back from the pedal. And then we induce all kinds of new techniques uh, like the rotational angio and that's really to reduce the exposure.